hey guys welcome or welcome back to etl qa labs so in this session we will be looking at uh, dcl commands so this is the third uh, you know uh, third level or third type of command within the sql right so what is dcl dcl is data control language okay language so in the previous session we have looked at the dml right and dml uh, we looked at insert update and delete these three different kind of commands all right so now uh, since dml is uh, related to the data in you know data uh, and uh, before that we looked at ddl DDL is the data definition language which is related to the schema of the table, right? And then DML is uh, data uh, inside the table, right? So it, it, it has, if you want to manipulate any data inside the table, then you have to go for the DML. So DCL is mostly used by administrator. So system administrator, I would say, right? So this is uh, responsibility of, uh, you know, uh, database administrator who who will basically grant or revoke the permission so we, so it is uh, used for the security purpose right so grant is to provide uh, the authorization or the access uh, to something so you it can be uh, authorization uh, can be different right so it can be select update insert whatever you know or create table etc or create user I mean there will be different kind of you know uh, authorizations that can be given uh, to a particular user right so uh, to a particular user this is basically all the grants uh, and revokes are given to a particular user right so we will uh, see that and then revoke is something taking out the permission that has been granted before right so it's like revoke revoked the permission is revoked so that person you know that user will not be able to do anymore what he was up what he was able to do uh, after the grant right so it just you know um, grant is giving permission and uh, revoke is taking out the permission yeah now what we will do is as part of this uh, session um, we'll try to create a user okay and uh, then after creating a user we will be providing some grant permission and we will say whether after giving the grant permission uh, that uh, you know uh, we will log in with that user and and then we will see that if the user is able to you know perform the required operation uh, based on the grants that we have given okay and we will see after that we will see the revoke also right so let's quickly create an user so how do we create user so see i already have let me connect first all right i can say connect i i have this user id and password okay so this is the one that is created when i was installing this oracle right so this is the user id and password now i would like to create one more user right so i will say maybe test I'll drop it later okay create sorry create user test identified as test okay so identified identified as test means it's a password is test okay and user is test and then uh, default we have to provide some table space that's where everything will be operated right so default table space is system mm, quota and then we have to give table space how much quota is there right so quota uh, unlimited quota unlimited all right let's see sorry I think I'm getting some error. Let me see real quick on my Google if something is there. Good. All right. Yeah. I have to use 
quota unlimited quota on yeah where exactly I have to give on this table space system okay one second something wrong guys okay one second okay guys sorry so what was the problem is uh, I have used identify as right so identified by so what it is saying is uh, like you know create an user username as test and password identified by means uh, password as test and then uh, where uh, the default table space will be system and then quota on this particular uh, system is unlimited that's what I have said right so I can use the whole of this table space for creating any kind of you know uh, objects within this particular uh, you know user so now we have another user that have created right and uh, now I will just connect with this user test test now see it is saying that you know you are no longer connected to Oracle because it says that it is lacking the create permission privilege so what I have to do is first I have to again login back with uh, my original user and then I have to create one right so I have to say grant create session create session to home test right grant is given now once I try I think I should be able to log in now with test got it now I am so if I show user then it will show me test okay user it test now right see now uh, let me try to create a table and we'll see if I am able to create a table or not okay so create table EMP alright I'm simply going to create one column number and uh, then see if well, let's see I will give some size also okay it says in the in insufficient privilege right which means this particular user that we have created right now does not have any privilege right on this table space it cannot do anything so what I have to do is I have to create a permission so there is one table guys we can check always if we what all the permissions that you have right so if we have select star from session underscore previs so it has only one that we have created right create session just uh, before that here we have created right so we have to create a permission to I mean basically the grant we have to grant the grant the permission right uh, to create a table and then to also the view the table right so we we have one table let me go back now uh, for example I have one table here right okay so I have one table which is there in the system uh, user all right and uh, the table name is employee okay I see table or view does not exist it is saying right but actually this is this exists in the system dot EMP it is just because it does not have uh, this uh, test user with whom I have logged in now does not have any privilege that's why it is not able to show so let's go back again to my original user and then grant some permission because this is the super user this user only have created right this user so test user right so let me go there I will just grant one permission called grant maybe one I will put on create table first create table create grant create table permission right uh, on on what on uh, to I think to test all right we have granted so we will see after that whether the create table permission is granted now we are in uh, in original user right system user okay now one more uh, grant I will provide uh, so that I can uh, see the table right so I have table here as I said you right select so star from employee guys employee uh, sorry okay so we have this details right employee table is already existing in uh, system user right but I am not able to see it when I logged in as a test right so what I will do is now I will grant a permission 
so grant select uh, on employee table right to whom I am going to give it to test right test is the user now it is granted so now let's go and uh, you know connect with test user and see now if I see what all the permissions are granted now using session underscore prefs see I have these two permission and I think select is also there but select will not be displayed here so let me try to access the table whether I am able to access or not right so before that I was not able to access that employee table let's see now because we have granted the select permission now see guys I am able to access it so if I show you where I am so user will be test right user test which means within the test I am able to access the employee table just giving the you know the schema name or the username before that table uh, but uh, I had to give the permission right now this is what I wanted to tell and uh, let me again try to create right one table that we were trying to create before and we failed to do it right so let's see okay guys it is created see it's created already if I said yes see then you will be able to see EMP all right see we are able to see that huh? all right so this is how you can do it now what we can do is we'll try to revoke the permission right so now I have what are the permission session uh, briefs right okay briefs with this room now let me go back to the master you know user which is system admin right and then let's try to revoke the permission so I would like to revoke the permission of select all of them probably okay uh, maybe uh, yes create table and revoke both uh, and, and and select both I want to do okay revoke mm -mm -mm. select mm. on EMP employee from test will be revoked so revoke succeeded right now one more I will say revoke create table from test it is also revoked now let's connect and see test test now so user I am already there inside now let me try to run select session briefs okay guys see the create table that we have seen it here right it's no more here because we revoked it and now we will try to see whether we are able to access that particular table that we were able to access before that employee table from here right so the table are view does not exist it is existing but it's just that uh, you know you do not have the appropriate permission now because uh, to you know select that table so this is what uh, all about you know about uh, grant and revoke uh, guys there are so many things uh, about I mean basically these are the two commands only but it can be you know granted on uh, there can be many right so update insert delete so you can give a lot of different uh, uh, kind of you know privileges to a table right so but uh, this is the basic right so you just uh, have to learn this and then you are all sorted yeah so thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, hope this video is making sense uh, and uh, the next one I have to create one more video on the SQL session that is uh, that is for the TCL right so transaction control and uh, guys I also have to cover uh, then I will cover most important thing about uh, uh, DQL yeah so DQL what I'm calling is as a as a select statement only normally people call uh, select as DML and people uh, say that but you know it is not really uh, something that we are actually manipulating so that's why I'm not saying uh, that I'm not calling that as a DML but uh, most of the people consider 
select statement also select command also as part of dml but i will cover as part of uh, dql and that will be after tcl uh, transaction control right uh, that is the um, so because there are so many things to learn about uh, you know select statement because that is the very basic of you know uh, all the sql commands and uh, uh, most most important you know um, part of it so now guys uh, i think we have covered ddl dml dcl and next session tcl and then dql all right so i think hope you are enjoying this you know session series and uh, hopefully it is enriching your knowledge and uh, you know please do and sus do subscribe and uh, you know um, comment if you have any questions or you need any clarification on any of these things that uh, but i try to go to the you know lowest level uh, to help you understand but if at all if you have any questions please comment it uh, on the comment box and uh, i will be able to come back uh, with the answer okay so this is all for now and uh, you know see you with the next video next time until then happy learning bye